Missouri lawmakers are considering legislation that would restrict drag show performances in the state. As our Greg Kozel tells us, the proposal is ruffling a few feathers in St. Joseph. They say that politics makes for strange bedfellows, but the politics of the hair salon might be even stranger. State Representative Maisie Boyd filed legislation in Jefferson City that seeks to classify drag shows as a form of adult entertainment. Prior to the madness of the last few years, it was assumed that we don't take children to drag shows in the same way we don't take children to strip clubs. This is about what's doing best for our children. That was Boyd, a Northwest Missouri Republican, at the hearing on her bill. Her word struck a nerve with one St. Joseph man who performs as a drag queen known as Bianca Bliss. Patrick Hall is also a cosmetologist who styled Boyd's hair in St. Joseph. This isn't something I'm ashamed of, obviously, and as, we got old, as she got older, conversations happened with other people where she realized I was a drag queen, so the fact that she knew me and she's known me her whole life it's personal in a way to me because it's like, I look at my boyfriend and I go, how did I fail her? Boyd's legislation represents a backlash to events like Drag Queen Story Hour in St. Joseph. Across the country, some conservative lawmakers believe children are being exposed to inappropriate content. Andy Von T, owner of a St. Joseph coffee shop that holds drag shows, says critics are missing the point. First and foremost, the drag shows are, are meant to be celebrating diversity and inclusion. Um, that there's nothing perverse or, or any ill intent when we host those. Lacoska Coffee Company, along with some bars in St. Joseph, could be impacted if Boyd's bill becomes law. Hall says anti-drag bills would stifle what he sees as a legitimate form of artistic and political expression. It allows you maybe to feel the freedom to express yourself in a way that's a, that you feel that maybe you wouldn't be able to do otherwise. So I think that that's what I really love about drag. Boyd's bill has not passed out of committee. In response to a previous story on News Press Now, Hall stresses that he would express his views in a civil manner in any future encounter with Boyd. For News Press Now, this is Greg Kozel.